Well, I'll take you through the process of what it takes to make one of these here bushings, uh, one of the replacement bushings. Going to make it out of Delrin. Got some uh, three-quarter inch uh, stock here. And yeah, feed it out there until I think you got a suitable stick out. So we'll get the safety glasses before we start up here. Make sure our hole is deep enough here. Made it twice as deep as I need to. There's nothing worse than having to retool after you just did something. All right, the chucking reamer in here. 0.3745 inches, just under 3 eighths of an inch. Uh, when you're uh, using the Dell right here, it'll spring back a little bit, so uh, whatever you think the uh, actual measurement is, uh, take a thousandth off of it, and that's probably your real measurement. Okay, we're reamed in the center portion here. We are to swarf. Zero this and zero my dial indicator. Our step is uh, four hundred and uh, we'll call it sixty five thousandths. So we'll um, Fire up the lay there and we're going to go in to our preset mark. I've been making a whole bunch of bushings so I pretty much got this figured out. One, two, three, four. 50, 65, 465. Okay, we're at 653. Double check it. Yeah, 654 by the Mitsutoyu. We'll go with that. Come in a couple thousands, take a pass. Okay, I'm sneaking up on this. Probably could have taken a better, bigger pass, but uh, it's really hard to add material. did take off two thousandths. I went in two thousandths, it took off two thousandths. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and go in a uh, total of ten thousandths here. Five thousandths per side.
Looking for a press fit inside of the, uh, the bore here. Uh, the bore is uh, 5 eighths. I'm going to make the bushing 0 0.625, uh, 626 actually. I want a little bit of squeeze on it. We're at 635 right now. Well, Delrin will screech a little bit, especially when you uh, hit the thick end. <laughs> we are at 630. This will probably be the final pass here, but we'll check it. Six two six right on the button. I love it. All right, we come even with our shoulder here. We're gonna dial in hundred and twenty-five thousand. And the bushing's cut. Flip it around and clean it up a little bit. Knock a little burr off a bit. Get a little countersink. So it goes on the shaft nice and smooth. I'm going to extend it just a little bit. Let me see if I can come in there with my uh, 45 degree tool here. Give the outside just a little bit of a chamfer. And there we go. One replacement bushing. Thanks for watching.